www.sendgridapitcomputertechniques.com. Hello, today I show you how to use SendGrid API without server configuration with PHP in your localhost. I use Outlook because Gmail doesn't support to the SendGrid. So first we need to create new SendGrid account. I search on Google as SendGrid. And I click SendGrid.com. This is the homepage of SendGrid. After I click Start for Free button. After that I enter my Outlook email address, if you don't have an Outlook email first you need to create Outlook email account. And create new password. Tick the reCAPTCHA and tick accept terms of services and create account. Next, SendGrid ask from you these details. So I provide my details. After filling details you need to confirm your Outlook email address. So that I go to my Outlook email and confirm email address. Now, your SendGrid account registration completed. After the registration I click, create a single sender. So I enter a name. And from address is my Outlook email. Please note that Gmail doesn't support to the from address. And reply email is my Gmail. After the creating single sender again we need to verify single sender email. So I again go to my Outlook email and verify single sender. Up to that your SendGrid account email configuration completed. After that, I enter to my localhost server and create new file as sendgridfirst.php. Then I start my code. Start from PHP. Email is my Outlook email. And name. Body is. Welcome to my first SendGrid email. Subject is First SendGrid email. And I create array variable as headers. In the array I type, authorization bearer.
In here you need to set your send grid API key. So I again go to the send grid and click the settings in the navigation bar and instead of settings click API keys. So here create new API key. I enter a name as first key and give full access and create. After that I copy that. Please note that first you need to copy this key and save in somewhere. Then I paste it here. Content type application. Jason. After that, I create array variable as data. In here I again create array. Personalizations. Array. Instead here I have to create nested arrays. Array. Two. Array. Array. Email I set to email as my Gmail. And name equal to name variable. Then I add from email. I call the email variable. and call subject variable. Again I use array to content. Type equal text html value equal to body variable Up to that email address's setting completed. Then I enter sendgrid config details. I create a variable as ch. Curl in it.
curl set opt variable ch curl opt url https api sendgrid dot com v3 mail send curl opt post 1 curl opt post fields JSON encode data. Curl opt http header. Headers. Curl opt follow location. 1. Curl opt return transfer. 1. I create response curl exec ch. Curl close ch. Echo response. Finally my PHP coding is completed. Then I save it. After, I go the browser and go to my PHP file directory. Then I click, send grid first .php file. My PHP file running completed. After that, I check my Gmail inbox. Finally, email sent successfully. This is the easiest way to use SendGrid directly from PHP code without any configuration in your localhost.